Okay, next topic is a part of your study session 10, which is called <coughs> DuPont analysis. So, one of the celebrated formulas of accounting or a technique of analysis. The whole DuPont analysis is surrounding to a concept called return on equity. That how much profit a company is being able to generate on the amount of equity that it infuses. So, this number generally comes as net income divided by how much is the equity that has been infused in the business. Now, what DuPont tries to do is it tries to help you understand what are the factors that contributed towards the return on equity. And there are two analysis, three factor and five factor. So first we will do a three factor analysis. So here we will break down this DuPont into three parts or return on equity into three parts. Number one, net income divided by sales. What is net income divided by sales? If you so if you made sales of hundred rupees and you made a profit of ten rupees, what is ten by hundred? Net profit margin. Hmm? Okay, it's a bit discouraging to be honest. Hmm? Net income by sales is nothing but net profit margin. When you sales, how much profit do you earn on your sales? So now try to understand. I have started a business. I have invested some money. I want to know how much profit I could earn on my money. So one way of achieving a higher profit on my investment equity is that I sell at a very high profit margin. So net income by sales. Second way of earning a lot of money for myself is by making high amount of sales. So how do I increase profit in absolute amount? Either I have a high profit margin or I have a high amount of sales or probably I have both. So here I will say sales upon assets. What is this number called? Asset turnover ratio. And then one of the ways in which return on equity can also be enhanced is by taking a leverage, by taking debt. So the third extension of this formula is called asset by equity. This formula is called financial leverage formula. This formula is called asset turnover ratio. Asset turnover, this was financial leverage, and this is nothing but net profit margin. Now, this was your three factor, you want to do more analysis. So, we will have an extension of this number, and next analysis that we do would be called as a five factor DuPont. So we take this net income and divide it further into different parts. So what different parts? Number one, EBIT divided by sales. EBIT divided by sales. What is EBIT? Earning before interest and taxes. So can I say EBIT is also my operating profit? So EBIT by sales is what? Operating profit margin. So EBIT by sales. Second one, EBT divided by EBIT. What will this number tell you? EBT upon EBIT, what will this number tell you? Yes, that if interest amount is lower, if interest amount is lower, will this number be higher or lower? Higher. 
lower the interest higher would be this number correct and next one which is earning after taxes or simply net income divided by earning before taxes this number gives you operating profit margin this number gives you interest impact and this number gives you tax impact now let's first prove this mathematically that how this number is correct we can eliminate ebit we can eliminate ebt so effectively the whole this last three factors is nothing but net income divided by sales so net income divided by sales here assets can be eliminated sorry sales and assets can be eliminated and this number is nothing but net income divided by equity which is your return on equity have you followed this so that's how the formula has been derived but what is the intuition now intuition is that how a firm can increase its rov number 1 that rov can be increased if i have a very good profit margin what will lead to a good profit margin if you have a very good operating profit margin your business operating profit margin is nice or you are paying less amount of interest or you are paying less amount of taxes so when you see that a firm has increased its net income three possibilities that why the net income profit net income margin has increased either because it had benefit of taxes or benefit of lesser interest or it improved its operating efficiency so when you are comparing two firms and you are comparing the breakdown of net income over the period of time this will give you an insight that how why the net income number is moving once you know net income then we want to know how much is the profit earned by the company in totality not in percentage term so either my profit margin was higher or i could make a lot of amount of sales or i made less sales i made less profit but the entire money that was invested into business was by bank i had invested very small amount so on my amount i still have a very high return on equity so financial leverage asset by equity should i repeat this again imagine a scenario where you have a total assets of 1000 total assets also includes equity plus debt out of this debt is 950 and equity is 50 kingfisher <laughs> i just hope he doesn't get to listen to any of my classes ever so now imagine that firm did not have a very high profitability it made reasonable sales of let's say 500 and it made only profit of let us say 100 out of it okay so decent profitability only 20% now again the amount of sales made to the size of assets were lower so these two numbers are lower but because i have such a high leverage my own equity is only 50 and on my equity still i have a very high amount of return on equity which is 100 by 50 so which means how do you enhance your rov number 1 increase your profitability number to increase your sales or simply increase your leverages and then automatically your rov would be enhanced this is called five factor dupont any question you want to ask please ask anything that's not clear are you clear about this point are you clear that If I take a loan, it helps me increase my ROI. Yes, no. Okay, perfect. Great then. So five factor Dupont is done.